Well, um, soon after you started, you got uh, funding from Brent Education. It was 100% funding. I was wondering how you got it. Because it's quite big funding at the time, that's um, 42 years ago. So what's the motivation of Council, Brent Education, to provide this funding to the Brent Centre? Mel pointed out, I was asked to come and talk to the Education Committee by the then Chair of Education, who was, who was very enthusiastic about the idea when Mel um, approached him. He asked him to come to the Education Committee and he explained that the services for adolescents at that time um, finished at 15 because that was the only services available, psychological services of any depth, were um, the child guidance clinics. Their age limit was 15, school leaving age. The education committee was responsible for all the children at school and technical college, certainly right up to 21 and there was not, no services available for them until they reached adulthood. Meant, for instance, an adolescent who had a breakdown would be in an adult ward at that time, always, with a psychiatrist who had not necessarily been trained in adolescent work. There were no adolescent psychiatrists, and so on. Um, the director of education his attitude when he heard Mo talk was, if we can save the life of one adolescent, it's worth doing. And they gave us, um, I mean, we, we didn't get as much as we could have used, but what we did get from them was an understanding that if we opened the doors, we wanted to make it as informal and easy for the adolescent to come as possible. The ones he was worried about, as he said, always said, were the ones sitting at the back of the class, friendless, isolated, and who nobody knew. You know, and to find a way of getting in touch with them and to bring them in for help. So we were a walk-in centre where people could just come. They didn't have to give their names even. But that what was essential was it would be irresponsible to open such a service if we couldn't also then offer treatment for those adolescents who we thought could use it. So Brent committed themselves to paying for psychotherapy at that time once a week um, for any adolescent that we um, were seeing in the walk-in service. The research cases we looked for, um, because we wanted to investigate certain pathological conditions, and we got private funding to make five times a week analysis available at the time. 